Yo, what's good, tech fam? Buckle up because we're diving into some spicy tech tea about Huawei and their latest win in the smartphone game. If you've been sleeping on Huawei's comeback, this is going to blow your mind. They just dropped a bombshell. Their shiny new Pura 80 and Mate 70 series phones are rocking a super cool chip called the Kirin 9020. And guess what? They designed it themselves. Let's break it down like we're unboxing a new gadget. Simple, fun, and full of vibes. The big reveal. Huawei's Kirin 9020 chip. Okay, imagine Huawei as the underdog in a superhero movie. They've been hit hard by U.S. sanctions, like getting their power zapped by a villain. For years, they couldn't get their hands on fancy chips or tech to make 5G phones. But Huawei is like, hold my bubble tea, we're building our own superpower. Their secret weapon, the Kirin 9020 chip, designed by their in-house squad, High Silicon. This chip is the brain of their new Pura 80 and Mate 70 series phones, and it's got 5G powers to connect you faster than you can say, Wi-Fi who? Huawei kept this chip hush-hush for a while, like a chef hiding the secret sauce recipe. But now, after a software update, Pura 80 users spotted the Kirin 9020 name in their phone settings, and the internet went wild. It's like Huawei just walked into the party and said, yeah, we're back. And we brought snacks. AMA. Why this matters. Huawei's comeback story. Picture this. Huawei's like the boxer who got knocked down in 2019 when the U.S. put them on a blacklist. No more access to top-tier chips or Google's Android goodies. Their phone sales tanked harder than a bad TikTok trend. Down. Richard Yu, Huawei's consumer biz boss, even said their phone shipments dropped to less than what they used to sell in a single month. Ouch. But Huawei didn't stay down. They teamed up with SMIC, China's biggest chip maker, to cook up the Kirin 9020 using a super advanced 7 nanometer process. Think of this like baking a gourmet cake with a tiny oven. It's tricky, but they nailed it. This chip isn't a total glow up from their last one, the Kirin 9010, but it's like upgrading from a skateboard to an electric scooter. Still a sweet ride with some cool new tricks. Harmony OS, Huawei's DIY operating system. Now, here's where it gets extra juicy. Huawei didn't just stop at making their own chips. They said, why rely on Google's Android when we can build our own OS? Enter Harmony OS, their homegrown operating system that's like a shiny new spaceship ready to take on Apple's iOS and Google's Android. Rocket. Building Harmony OS was like crafting a custom gaming PC from scratch. Huawei poured billions of bucks and rallied over 10,000 developers every year for six years to make it happen. That's some serious hustle. Now over 10 million devices are running Harmony OS 5, and is helping Huawei phones stand out like a neon sign in a dark alley. Huawei's big win in China. Here's the cherry on top. Huawei's now the king of China's smartphone market again. Trophy. For the first time in four years, they snagged the top spot with an 18.1% share of phone sales in the June quarter, according to IDC. That's like going from the bench to MVP in a basketball game. Basketball. Their Mate 60 Pro and now the Pura 80 and Mate 70 series are flying off the shelves, proving Huawei's back in the game, sanctions or not. The fun takeaway. So what's the vibe here? Huawei is like that friend who got kicked out of the cool kids club, but came back with their own party bus, blasting their own music and serving their own snacks. Hamburger. Music. The Kira 9020 chip and Harmony OS are their way of saying, we don't need anyone else to shine. They're building their own tech empire. And it's honestly kind of inspiring. What do you think, tech fam? Are you hyped for Huawei's comeback? Drop a comment below, smash that like button, and let's keep the tech convo going. Don't forget to subscribe for more juicy updates. Peace out.